my friends. <laughs> Welcome to our Wilderness Basics series. We want to create a fun place for you to learn super basic nature, bushcraft, and wilderness skills. Hey friends! <laughs> Autumn time! We've had some spectacular colors this year, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you see some pretty stuff behind us, but... Nothing compared to what it used to be. Oh, the colors just a week ago. Unreal. So We're going to show you a lot of footage in this video. And hopefully this video can just be appreciation of this amazing thing we call autumn colors. Does it make you feel sometimes like you're on an alien planet? Or what's, what's the effect for you? I don't know. It's just so beautiful. All so the different beautiful. colors. Yeah. yeah. I sometimes do feel, you, know, you think of an, an alien planet, you imagine it, and it's going to have all these strange colored leaves. And, yeah, uh-huh. And it reminds me that our own planet is Has. bizarrely amazing. Yeah. This bright blue sky and colors of every imagining during the fall. But something a lot of people wonder is, what causes these colors? How do these come about? And we... We've got these green leaves that then burst out. How does this happen? Do you, what do we know here? And what don't we know? The oranges and the yellows are actually underneath the green always, even though we don't see them. They're still there. Those glowing oranges and yellows are sitting underneath there. Yeah. Okay, so it's not so much that something's painted onto the leaf as the green goes away. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the green is... What does that do? That's the... Uh, chlorophyll. Yeah, yeah, which has the chloroplasts, which contain... What is it called? Do you remember the, uh, our video on the Nostoc commune? Cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria. Yeah. Yes. And the cyanobacteria are this other creature that lives inside those cells and converts the sunlight into... It's part of the whole photosynthesis <laughs> effect. So which cool. creates sugar or food for the tree or whatever the plant is. Now yellows and oranges are not the only color we see out here. There's also... Reds! And reds are hiding underneath the green as well? No, actually no. not. <laughs> oh, so confusing. If there's a lot of sunlight, the trees will create something called anthocyanins that will turn the leaf red. Okay, so the sunlight can create this red color now that is the mystery we want to leave you all with at the end of this video because it'd be super fun to know if you know the answer to this question or yeah or can figure it out so right at the end of a leaf's life if you will it's, it's going to be dropped off the tree and not used anymore if there's enough sunlight the tree will divert sugars made by the chlorophyll to create anthocyanins which require sugars in order to create that pigment so why are they creating this pigment if the leaf is just about to be dropped off give us your best thoughts or answers uh, down in the comments <laughs> yeah do you know why okay so we have some hiding under there we have the reds being created a lot of leaves just turn brown so what we have happening there is that the sunlight is degrading the colors and those pigments and over time they turn brown and then in the spring we have our familiar brown leaves littering the forest floor. We don't see any of those bright colors really right. anymore in the spring. There's also some leaves that basically never turn colors. So oak leaves would be an example. They basically turn brown. And that's, that's because of tannins, right? Yes, yes, you know the oaks have tons yeah. of tannins in them. That's why when we eat the acorns, we were just eating one the other day and wondering. Wow, squirrels, how do they love this? Because <laughs> yeah. they love this, but <laughs> not quite our thing unless we leach the tannins out. But these leaves have a lot of tannins in them, and so that's a brown coloration. And it basically, as the green fades, that's what's created. But this year, we feel like we have seen the oaks creating a lot of those reds. Yeah, uh -huh. you notice that? totally. Yeah. yeah, it's bizarrely beautiful. We've seen this before happen, but it seems like conditions have to be just right 
in order to get the oaks to create this beautiful deep red hue. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah. Do the oak leaves have the other colors or the oranges and yellows under them too? And if so, why do the tannins cancel them out? I'm not going to speak as an expert on this, <laughs> but I believe you know. that these different pigments serve numerous functions inside the leaf, but one thing they do is that they're protective. So a lot of these, these plants are busy creating all kinds of chemicals that to an insect. Uh, yeah. And so those tannins can be toxic to a, a range of different animals. They're not really great for okay. us, for instance. So they're there to stop humans from grazing oak trees. <laughs> <laughs> so probably the tannins are serving the same purpose as those yellow orange pigments that we're seeing in some other leaves. That's a great question. Okay, cool. Do you have autumn colors where you are? And share in the comments your best story about some time when you were experiencing the autumn leaves, the feeling it left you with, or what happened during that camping adventure you were on. <laughs> Something autumn themed, we'd love to hear your story, tale, ideas down in the comments. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, love to you all. Bye. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.